Consider system of two linear equations as follows 3x plus 21y plus p equal to 0, qx plus ry minus 7 equal to 0, where p, q, and r are real numbers, which are the following statements definitely contradicts the fact that the lines represented by the two equations are coinciding. Definitely contradicts that they are coinciding. And so, if they coincide, what do we know? I'm going to start with this. I'm going to say 3x plus 21. I'm saying 21 and writing 12. Like some form of dyslexia equal to minus p qx plus ry equal to 7. I'm not saying dyslexia flippantly, just slipped out. Don't worry about that. So pq and r are real numbers. Suppose these two lines co coincided, then we should be able to say 3 by q equal to 21 by r equal to minus p by 7 a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2, only then they will coincide. Right. So if they were coinciding, then 3r equals 21q or r is 7q. Right. 21 into 7 is minus pr or p is minus 147 by r r is 7q, so we can say minus 147 by 7q minus 21 by q. You have got everything in terms of one thing. There is a link between p, q and r, some relationship p, q and r have. So if the lines coincided, then we can say q is q, r is equal to 7q, p is equal to minus 21 by q. Nice. Wonderful. P and Q must have opposite signs. Yes, they must have. So this won't contradict. And so, so Q and R have the same sign. P is opposite. So if P and Q have opposite signs, yeah, this could work. So this doesn't contradict that. If this had been P and Q must have the same sign, then we can say it's not possible. And so it's not contradicting that. The smallest among P, Q, and R is R, not required. We have R is 7Q and so, but we don't know anything else. So Q could be 1, R could be 7 or Q could be minus 1, R could be minus 7. Both are possible. So they, we can, so Q 1, R 7 is possible. Q minus 1, R minus 7 is possible. So R, the smallest among these three should be R. Not required. Not required. And so, this largest among P, Q and R is Q. Required. So, 1 and 7, minus 1 and minus 7, they're, they're, they're opposite signs. Largest among this is Q. Will that con is that contradicted? Is, is, could the largest among them be Q and still this condition be satisfied? That's what we're thinking. I think that should be possible because we're, we're able to flip this, right? So, it should be possible. R and Q must have same signs. R and Q must have same signs. That is true. P cannot be 0. P cannot be 0 is true. It doesn't contradict anything. P cannot be 0. P is minus 21 by Q. First cut. I look at all of this and go, look. None of these contradicts. Now I'm worried. When to, these two I'm sure. This I'm sure. These two I'm worried about. But I feel like I might have missed something. So I know that Q and R are the same sign. But both could be positive. Both could be negative. I don't know which is what. So, P, Q, R, Q and R could be 1 and 7, minus 1 and minus 7. We know R is 7Q. Right? P is minus 21 by Q. I'm going to write this. So P is minus 21 by 1, which is minus 21 or plus 21. Both are possible. So, the smallest among P, Q and R is R. Smallest is not R. In this case, the smallest is R. The smallest could be R and the smallest need not be R. The largest among P, Q and R is Q. Here the largest is R. Here the largest is P. Q cannot be the largest. If Q were positive, R will be more than Q. If Q were negative, P will be more than Q because P will be positive. So this particular statement for R situation can never be satisfied. If P were positive, R, R is 7 times, sorry, if Q were positive, 
r is 7 times q r is larger if q were negative p is the opposite sign q p is positive p is the largest so for our set of conditions q can never be the largest of the three so if q were the largest of the three integers or three numbers then this cannot be satisfied so this definitely contradicts it absolutely delightful question when i read this i said look no no not every each one of them i could i could imagine a scenario satisfying it and then i was very confident about 1 2 1 5 sorry 1 3 1 4 and 5 2 and 3 i want to revisit as it turns out q cannot be the largest if q is positive r is higher if q is negative p is higher so both cases q is not the largest so if q were the largest of the three three numbers then this will be contradicted. So, choice 3.